Strange and has recently escaped from the mental institution and Kyle Strange is actually in action next. So we will get to see this individual make his way down to the ring, find, gets away from the um, from the insane asylum, makes his way to the ACW ring, and he will be taking on JWB's wing right now. Still in the straight jacket that we saw him in the footage, making his way straight down to the ring from Providence, Rhode Island, standing at six feet four inches, weighing in at 215 pounds. The strange one himself, Mr. Kyle Strange. Steve get in the ring, patting him down, undoing. One of the creepiest songs and entrance music that I've ever heard in all of my time here in SOS. And if I was JW, I would not be excited about facing this man. Wow, I ain't gonna lie. When I first saw that vid, I thought someone in production was playing Slender Man. I was thinking it's the fire someone else. I know, I hate that game. But making his way down to the ring, the opponent of the strange one, the Annihilator from Stingler, Oklahoma, standing 6 feet 11 inches, weighing 345 pounds big man himself, the Annihilator, J.W. Beeswing. Definitely going to be a weight difference here of over 100 pounds, but I don't know if that really matters when it comes to Kyle Strange. Freshly broken out of the mental institution with one of the creepiest entrances I've seen as far as the music goes, comes down in the straight jacket. I don't know if it was a good idea to let Steve take him out of it, but a couple of things about Kyle. Kyle, he was born with a facial defect, the mask that you see on his face. Part of his face has actually been missing since birth. He has spent the majority of his life in the mental institution. As you saw in the video, finds his way out and has made his way to ACW tonight. As he sets their crouch down and waits on his opponent, Mr. J. W. B.'s wing. So, Rock, your initial impressions of Kyle as he's sitting there in the ring, pretty close to us. Yeah. Not really comfortable well, with this. Well, he's crazy, and so far, Team Crazy is winning one to nothing. Very true. I mean, Brie was a schizophrenic and a bipolar, but I mean, she she didn't escape from a mental institution. That's a that's a whole other level of crazy. Give me a hell yeah! I said, give me a hell yeah! Steve trying to get the crowd into it. This will be Kyle Strange's first match as well, which, I mean, granted it has to be. The man just escaped from the mental institution. You know, and I ain't making his way down the ring, down to the ring. He, we see we have some fans there. Time to make some noise. Kyle telling JW, come on, big man. All I want to do is play. <laughs> creepy, dude. Absolutely creepy. Gives me chills. J.W. now making his way to the ring, finally up on the apron, making Kyle wait. And I don't know if that's going to make him any more excited about being in this ring. But I can tell you that Kyle's probably preferring this over being in that padded cell that, uh, padded, uh, cell that we just saw him find his way out of moments ago. Yeah, if anything, uh, that may have backfired on him. I mean, his meds may wear off, you know. Yeah. It's, yeah.
JW might have waited a little bit too long to get in the ring with a strange one. Kyle Strange will be taking on the Annihilator JWB's wing. So as we said, we will do a quick introduction again as Steve pats down the behemoth, the Annihilator JW. Uh, Kyle Strange from Providence, Rhode Island, standing 6 feet 4 inches, weighing 215 pounds, going against the Annihilator JWB's wing, standing 6 feet 11 inches, weighing 345 pounds from Stigler, Oklahoma. So if you look at the tail of the tape between these two men, um, Kyle is probably going to be a little bit quicker than JW, but if JW is able to get his hands on Kyle, this could definitely be a bad night. But Kyle also is missing half of his face. So uh, when you deal with that kind of stuff your entire life, I don't really think that size matters too much. I mean, to Kyle, JW might look like a pink little pony right now. Yeah, JW, quick hint here. No left hooks. You gotta use that that reach to your advantage. I don't know if you want to get the strange one in that close. They lock up right in the middle of the ring, and as you can see, how JW just towers over Kyle, pushes him down, and just simply throws Kyle down to the ground. JW wow, showing there was some distance on that. That wasn't just a normal shove. He <laughs> <laughs> threw him out of the ring. Kyle gets up, not too happy about that, and JW grabs him again, pulls him right back in. Got a couple people in JW's corner, and he throws them again, almost back into the corner. JW using that that over that near 150 pound weight difference, that 130 pound weight difference in his advantage. So he's just throwing Kyle around right now. But like we saw in the last match, Kalen got the upper hand on Bree early. But then Bree was able to turn it around right oh, there, shrug oh, oh. to the it just Wow, wow. testicular wow. claw it's, just is yes mm. submission move? Mm. Ref is counting one, two, and then Kyle grabs JW right for the jawbreaker. So he not only does he break the jewels, but he breaks the jaw after that. And I can feel him in my throat. Woo. Pain. That's the bottom line. Absolutely. Just, Ouch, that's, yeah. yeah one thing I will say is that's something I have seen oh, JW use in recent in uh in in some recent matches. Wait, whoa, whoa, do you see JW use his testicles? No, the testicular claw. Okay, just had to be clear. Yeah, he, he he has used that move in matches. But right now, Kyle on the attack. A strong drop kick. He lifts up JW. Then right there, drives the boots right into the face of the Annihilator. JW is down, probably not breathing too well. Kyle makes his way into the corner and just hops up, using the quickness and the size to his advantage. High rent, District. Ref is counting. Kyle has big things in mind. Comes flying in. Flying elbow drop. Hits, connects right to the midsection of JWB's wing. And Kyle now stands up. That took a little bit of breath. Out of the strange one, but the annihilator still down on the ground, being cheered on from his section. He's got, he's even got a, he's even got a sign over there. JW yeah, now I down, still, you know, goes down straight for the pin here. One, and JW kicks out. A long one count, Ooh, very long. But in any case, JW kicks out on the one count right there. Kyle has gone on the attack, as we said, just switches that. Just flips that switch right off what? the bat, comes out, makes things happen, and JW still trying to catch his breath because Kyle didn't, he wasn't playing with him, you know. I mean, he had him. He was white knuckling those things, and that's pain. Yeah. That is just pain. JW thrown into the ropes, comes back right into the middle, and a big boot right to the gut of Kyle. JW trying to create a little bit of offense here. Punch right to the face. Right punch. Kyle grabs at his head. JW right in front of him. JW caught state. Left punch. Right punch. Good combination from the Annihilator as he fights back and goes in Haymaker right to the jaw. And Kyle hits the mat. JW now having the ability to step back, catch his breath. And create a little bit of separation between these two men. Kyle was on the offense early after being shoved to the ground. But but 
grabs the testicles, and I ain't saying that, god dang, of JW, then follows it up with a jawbreaker, and now JW grabs Kyle, throws him into the ropes, Kyle comes off the ropes right back to JW into the middle of the ring, runs right by him, but JW picks him up, walks to the side, and a nice sidewalk slam connects. Right down, driving him into the middle of the mat. He threw Kyle off of the ropes. Kyle comes back. JW sidesteps, grabs him, lifts him up, turns, walks, walks, steps, drops right into the middle of the mat. And now he's using that 130-pound weight difference completely into his advantage as Kyle crawls out of the ring. And JW now taking this opportunity. Like we said, to still wow. catch his breath to regain himself. And JW looking to gain control as Kyle crawls out of the ring jw now on the chase jw making his way out coming down the steps kyle getting back up to his feet using the apron to kind of stabilize himself ref starts his count up to one jw kyle strange outside of the ring right over here right in front of jw's fan section but kyle with a strong kick to the gut and a nice european uppercut he knocks jw down right on to the mat outside and kyle slides back into the ring JW comes out there, Kyle, with a strong kick to the gut and a nice European uppercut. Yeah, crazy and technicality. What the hell? Yeah, and we saw that in the last match as well. Some great submission moves from those two women. Oh, Neither no. one of them necessarily in their right mind. So apparently the the theme of the night is crazy, and as we go forward, it doesn't really uh, relinquish at all. We have, we, you know, we have Michael in Hollywood next. Hollywood's freaking crazy. Oh, then we huge vaulting moonsault off of the ropes there, and and it does connect right into JW. Kyle comes off, vaults over, and connects with JW, and both men down outside of the ring. A huge move, but Kyle just rolls up as if it was nothing. <coughs> Kyle slides into the ring. You're breaking the count. That's wow. I mean, this guy's got some crazy up there, but he's got some smarts somewhere. He knows what he's doing, and JW still just trying, just trying to get up. JW slides into the ring. Kyle on one knee in the middle of the ring, just waiting on the annihilator to make his way back over. Kyle crawls away. JW eases over. Kyle now up into the corner. Oh, well, after JW. that first illegalish submission move I've seen, I wouldn't be too um, quick to crawl up to him with him. Oh, but no! And a Hurricane Rana from Kyle pulling JW right down to the ground. A nice move, Kyle, just baiting him. He's just sitting back. He's just waiting. And at the last second, takes off, runs, jumps up. Hurricane Rana pulls the big man back down to the ground. And Kyle looks at us through that half a eye he's got because his face got eaten off. Kyle now and goes down for the pin. One, two, very long two, very long and, two. And a very close win there, almost <laughs> win for Kyle as JW kicks out as Steve was bringing his hand down in what seemed like almost slow motion. Oh my day. Now Ky Kyle on one knee right next to JW, JW. Grabbing at his back, Kyle backs away, and when Kyle's backed away, he's found a way to hit big move after big move, vaulting moonsault, flying elbow drop, hurt huge hurricane Rana coming off out of the corner, just move after move after move. Kyle showing you that he can do a little bit of everything in terms of uh, of moves here. Kyle now lifting JW up in complete control of the big man this is not what i expected to see knowing what jw has done in the past what he's capable of and the sheer size i thought that the size could just just demolish the craziness but kyle showing you that being technical being a risk taker and not really caring if you live or die really is going to help you out against a guy who's three times your size Kyle with a strong front face lock, working the neck of JW right in the middle of the ring. Well, speed can win it, but the bad thing about relying on speed is one time you will speed right into a huge punch, and it's all over. Exactly. 
And JW right there with the elbow strike, trying to fight him off. Knocks Kyle off of him. JW grabs him, throws him into the ropes, and we've seen Kyle take advantage of, of these rebound opportunities. Kyle comes off the ropes right back towards JW. JW lifts him up in an inverted atomic drop. He attacked the um, family jewels of Kyle Strange right there as he turns him forward and he drops him manhood first right on the knee of JW B's wing. You said JW, he'll use the moves that involve them testicles. Yeah, the score is tied now. One nut injury to one nut injury. <laughs> yeah. You'll be filling out those uh, those release forms about them, you know. I'm going to go see the doctor because their nuts hurt. Coming to your office after this with ice with ice packs. No, I'll hire someone for that. I really, I, I pass. JW lifts Kyle, throws him into the ropes. Kyle comes off, rebound cross body. A huge move. Wow, death out of nowhere. JW, he hits the, the inverted atomic drop. There's no way that Kyle is not feeling some sort of pain, but, you know, he's lost half of his face. We wonder if maybe he's lost half of something else. But JW throws Kyle off of the ropes, and Kyle just grabs onto the ropes. Vaults, vaulting, reverse cross body, hits it, connects, goes down for the pin. One, two, and JW finds a way to kick out at the last second. Hand coming down for three, but JW... Finds a way to kick out. Maybe it was a little slow. But a huge move from Kyle out of nowhere. Out of absolutely nowhere comes off there. Hit the rebound cross body. Taking the big man back down to the ground. And Kyle goes back on to the attack. Lifting JW up in the middle of the ring. JW with an eye rake. JW lifting up Kyle. You the strength with a scoop slam. Throwing him down. And now for his. Starting to take advantage of the size. JW now wanting to wreak a little bit of havoc on the little man. I rake scoop slam. Throws him into the corner. We saw what happened last time he tried anything like this. JW now coming charging in. Lifts his head back. Big chop right across the chest. Ric Flair all up in the house. Big chop right across the chest again. That's two. And he pushes him back another time. And JW going to go for a third. And it connects. Red marks right across the chest of Kyle Strange. And now JW thrusting his shoulder into the midsection of Kyle in the corner. Doing it once. Doing it twice. Backing out. Counts up to two. JW hits a third one. And continuing to abuse the midsection. But he backs out. Kyle still leaned up in the corner. JW kind of sizing him up. And if he gets this huge frame headed right toward Kyle Strange, this could be a bad, bad day. He comes flying in for the corner splash, but Kyle slides out of the way, and J.W. crashes face first into the turnbuckle, and the speed of Kyle Strange goes right against this complete size and strength of J.W. He goes for the corner splash, nobody's home, and Kyle Strange escapes from almost getting split in half because if J.W. throws his full body weight down on Kyle, he throws him into that turnbuckle. Now J.W. finds his way back up into the middle of the ring, and Kyle grasping at his knees, feeling the pain on the chest in midsection. J.W. was looking kind of out of it right there for a bit. Yeah. Slammed him head first, you know, right into the, uh, right to the turnbuckle, and you got to wonder. But then he lifts him up. Kick oh, to the gut, turns around, and the crossroads hits. And Kyle Strange slides up. You know he's going to go for the pin here. And you wonder if Kyle Strange has grabbed his first victory in his first ever match in an SL wrestling ring. Steve is down. He's waiting. He's just waiting. He's just waiting for Kyle to grab the leg. You wonder if maybe he's wasting too much time. A huge move. JW goes for the corner splash. Kyle slides out. Crossroads hits. One, two, two. almost two. Two, 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 almost three. You can say slow count all you want to, but Kyle took a little bit too long to get down there to cover JW. And uh, the crowd is probably displeased with that. Yeah, I'll be having a talk with Steve later for y'all. 
Oh, they right there, Kyle. Wish JW up right with a super kick. Kyle showing absolute intelligence in the ring, lifting JW back up after hitting the crossroads. Super kick. Now he's got to get on JW right here. He does pins, hooks the leg, and Steve is not ready. Steve's got to get down. Steve's got to get down. One, two. Almost again, and the count oh, is too slow. Oh, my. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, to, yeah, sit not so well with the fans of Kyle. Hmm. Two huge moves that Kyle feel like should have won on. Huge crossroads, huge super kick right after JW. Went for all or nothing on the, uh, the corner splash. Kyle gets out of the way. But this has been an amazing match, and JW has continued to find ways to stay in it. Kyle throws him off the ropes. JW makes his way back in, kick to the gut. And you wonder if JW is going to be able to take advantage of it here. JW lifts him and throws him right over. Belly to belly suplex, just tossing Kyle Strange right over his back. And you wonder oh, if the opportunity. That. Listen to that. Look at that. He's feeling it. He's wasting time getting up. He's lining him up for it. He's going out for it. And see, Steve's ready for that one. One, two, but Kyle kicks out almost. How in the hell? How is this match still going on is my question. How is this match still going on? Kyle finding a way to stay in it. JW finding a way to stay in it. Now JW looking to take control, lifting Kyle up in the middle of the ring. A little bit over toward our side here at the commentator's table. Kyle with a kick to the gut, and you wonder what he's got in mind here. He is completely impressed. Elbow strike right to the face of JW. Throws JW into the corner. JW hits the corner, and Kyle goes right back onto the attack. Runs right up into his face. JW being just popped over and over again. Oh, Kyle has him up down. into the corner. But JW gets his hands up, wraps around, sit down, power bomb, and he fights out of it. And he fights out of it. Kyle is on, was on top. He was delivering blow after blow after blow. Ten straight to the head of JW Beasley. But JW reaches up, grabs around, and sit down, power bomb, brings him down to the mat. And now JW lifting up Kyle, and you feel that the end may be near. JW in the corner. Has Kyle by the hair. The fans imploring JW to do something. To do something here. And JW slides out of the ring at the last second. You wonder what he was thinking there. Allowing well, Kyle some time. time. JW slides out of the ring. Bye. From head to nuts to toe. He's been through hell. He has been. Right there, Kyle locks up with JW. Kyle has gotten back up onto his feet. Now they're working over here in the corner, leaning on one another. You can see the exhaustion in the face and the determination of both of these men to get this win. And we said this is both of their first times here in the ACW ring. This is a huge, huge opportunity for both of these to set their to set the tone, to leave their mark here in this company. On the first night of ACW Sabotage, continuing to just have a muscle match, showing who has more strength here at the end. You would expect JW to win this one as both men continue just what? to forward, push each other into the corner. Kyle has been completely impressive to me, though, Rock. I did not expect to see this. Oh, yeah. Him. Yeah. How is he even standing and how is he even going back and forth toe-to-toe -to -toe with him on this? Oh, and a kick to the gut strong kick but not only that the intelligence that he's had he knew when to get back into the ring to reset the count he was able to get out of the way he used his speed and his his undersize to his advantage in this in ways that i didn't think he would be able to because not only has he just escaped from a mental institution but this is the first time that we've ever seen him in a ring anywhere on this one count is up to eight and it's looking more and more count is up to nine and we wonder if it is going to be count to ten and kyle strange is going to walk out of here with the victory in his first match back and forth and honestly a match that kyle absolutely dominated if i'm being honest with you i felt like he was in charge of this match from beginning to end and really made an impact on me here